Behold, I am the Lord. Work. Oh, you can go. We just want to. You just want to tell them. You know. Um, no, speak to them. Speak to them. Right there. Uh, no, we will we'll do that and tomorrow. Don't tell me your, your network is don't work. Eh? We'll do that tomorrow because you know. Um, people of God, God bless you. God bless you. I know. Um. I'm very sorry. I had a problem with them. Um, I think my credit got finished. <laughs> so what we do is uh, we continue um, tomorrow by by the grace of God because time is already spent. Time is gone. I know some of you are you've really dived already into the night. Some places are already 2 a.m., 3 a.m. So um, what we do by the grace of God tomorrow, tomorrow, um, God willing, if God gives us grace to be alive or we are still alive, we'll come back here and we'll talk about this uh, topic, witchcraft see. And this thing is, uh, is very broad and it's very huge. Like, it's something that is really affecting the church in the spirit of divination. Many people are, are, are really possessed in the church, even our own pastors. Yeah, they also for mommy, the pastor's wife, many of them, the children of God, choir leaders, singers, drummers, many people are possessed with the spirit of witchcraft. See? And we need to touch it. And I want us to touch some of the things so that when you find yourself in it, you know that mm, I need to pray. The spirit of witchcraft is influencing my life in a certain way. That's the reason why we come here. We don't come to condemn, we come to talk about it so that when you find yourself there, you can change towards that, that. You can you can do something about it in prayer. Hallelujah. So uh, may God bless you. May God uh, strengthen you. I pray that may your, your day will be fruitful. May God keep you in Jesus. Jesus does that. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry, people. Uh, we pray that it will not happen again next time so that we can truly uh, talk for long. God bless you. Esther. Are you done? Yes, please. I'm done. But my time, I'm late. I'm late, so I can't go. Now. Mm. You can't go. People of God, because I'm late. They're okay. You know, uh, whilst, whilst we're so far as we're back, Mami Nyakwa, God bless you. Okay. Yeah, finally, uh, you're here, you want to give your life to Jesus. And the reason why 
I, I read a lot of comments and stuff and people would, wouldn't want us to touch on, you know, the stuff we put on and stuff. These are women. Jesus says something. He said to that. He said that the prince of this world come in, cometh. He has nothing. You see, when you talk about witchcraft, there are many things that can connect you to the kingdom of darkness, that can connect you to the, the, the queen of course, the marine kingdom and all that. And um, the enemy has won and has succeeded in, especially as women, because we are emotional beings. Naturally, we're receivers, you know. A woman will receive anything, and we are jealous, and we have, you know, any bread prayer kind of from saying envious. Women are very envious, you know, and we have that spirit of jealousy. So, uh, because uh, we receive anything easily, unfortunately, Witchcraft, see, has become the order of the day. And people have it even without knowing. Mm, very serious. Somebody said, what about work? Don't, don't worry about that. So, uh, Pastor will come back. I think uh, Pastor, will, he said he'll come back tomorrow and touch on it. It's, a, it's a, a very important topic that we need to address. By the grace of God, uh, we will touch on it. And then if you're like that, you allow yourself for the spirit of God to deliver you, amen. Mm, I'm here, so people of God, God bless you. And um, you're here, you want to give your life to Jesus. You know, everything we come here and do, the essence of it all is that you will get eternal life, that you'll be saved, you know, you'll be saved, that your name will be written in the book of life. How tight, sister, teach me how to tie the scarf you tie. Well, oh, no way. If I do this, if I do this, it will come off. Praise the Lord. So, <laughs> um, you're here, you want to surrender your life to Jesus. Um, it's very important. All the stuff, maybe you come and go and listen to us and the Spirit of God is convicting you. Or perhaps you want to dedicate your life to Jesus. We dedicate your life to Christ. It's very important. The days we are in, I can't stop emphasizing on it. Or perhaps you can't stop emphasizing on it that, that, that we're in the evil days. When the end time and the enemy is working over time, the fact that you're sleeping does not mean they're not working, they're working full time. The fact that the church is fighting each other does not mean the enemy in the camp of the enemy, they are one, and because they are one, they work over time. Yes, as sometimes God gives us the grace to work over time, you know, it's my prayer that you wake up from your slumber, spiritual slumber, and, and make sure that your eternity is secured, amen. Uh, you want to give your life to Jesus this morning. I want to please give you the opportunity. Wherever you are, lift up your hands with me. Wherever you are, wherever you are. And keep sharing. Pastor just came to say sorry, but I just thought it would be an opportunity for me to also lead you to Christ. Because that is what Christ wants, apart from everything. Uh, God bless you too. I want you to lift up your two hands with me, please. Praise the Lord. Lift up your two hands with me. And say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I know I'm a sinner. But I know you came to shed your blood for me. Say, Lord Jesus, this morning, I want to accept your free gift of salvation. I want to take you as my Lord and my personal Savior. I want you to come into my heart. I want you to come and take absolute control over my life. I want you to come and rule over my life from henceforth in the name of Jesus Christ. And let the saints of God say, Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Beloved child of God, we welcome you to the body of Christ. This is just the beginning of your salvation. You need to be baptized in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you need to buy a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, buy some. Amen. You need to buy the word of God and sell it not. I'm not saying the Bible, buy it and say, no, no. Buy the word of God. Buy the Bible. Study it. Pray into it. Ask the Spirit of God to give you insight through the word of God. You know, be acquainted with the things of God. Find a, a, a pastor who is, in, is conscious of heaven, you know, and let that pastor prepare also your soul to meet the Lord. Very important. We're in the end time. I mean, everything depicts that the world is coming to a close and we cannot emphasize on this enough. 
the reason why some of us have taken everything of what is what is if we gain the whole world and lose our souls what's the point what is the point of having it all and then losing your soul what is the point of praise the lord what is the point of you know having everything living going to church giving your life to christ and living like the worldly person what is the point what is the point of being a christian at the same time you're worldly what is the point of going to church every sunday but then you sleep with a boyfriend every weekday what is the point of going to church on sunday but weekdays you don't even bother to talk to god what is the point it's a waste of time you take your time to go to a midweek service they are praying you are part of a zoom meeting you are there but you know you don't have a relationship with jesus what is the point i mean what is the point of doing it all and pretending in your quiet place in your private place the lord does not know you a day is coming that the word of god will judge you perhaps you preach you talk about christ perhaps you know you're everywhere you do evangelism even perhaps you do the things of god but deep inside you don't have a proper relationship with god what is the point it's a waste of time god bless Thanks. matthew 7 22 23 will go against a lot of people mm, mm. on that day make sure you have a right standing with god make sure you have peace with the lord through our lord jesus but very important whatever you do that's why me best i don't believe in group group thing this thing eh, this group thing can be very deceiving because when everybody is screaming and say excited about you know holiness righteousness and all this if you're not careful and eh, you will think you're also you know but mm -hmm. deep inside you know you know people are doing it by you you don't you, you, there's something wrong then don't hide it God bless you, Sister Sheila. Don't hide it. Make sure you have a proper relationship with Christ. And I'm telling you, some of you send me a message and everything. And I acknowledge it. I respect you. I love you with the love of Christ. But hear me out. If I truly love you, I need to let you know that what is the point? I mean, what is the point? Some of you see a picture. And I can't stop saying it, you know, because the insults I get from my pictures, just posting my pictures alone. The insults I get from you girls, eh? But you know, what is the point of professing christ and being worldly what is the point you know the world must see the christ in us and beloved it's not just your character let everything about you glorify god let everything about you glorify god when my little boy is going out i want him to represent me even as a normal human being i want everybody to see my boy and know that i take care of him by the grace of god and so i make sure he is well dressed well, you know, personal height and everything. I'm just a mere man. And that is outside. And the inside, I have to make sure that he's healthy. Eating well kept. This, praise the Lord. The same way, how much more God? God wants your inside and out. You can't tell me the outside of a glass is dirty, but because there's poo, poo around it, you can drink inside because it's clean. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. And this, I don't know whether... You know, you need some spiritual insight to grasp this simplicity. Yet people don't get it. The days and times we're in, it's not time to argue. It's time to wait on God, have a proper relationship with God, spend quality time with the Lord. Make sure you have a right standing with Why do you think I leave my, you know how money, my, how much money I would have made a day? I leave it all just to come here. We talk and talk. Sometimes I, 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 I it's, not, it's not somebody who, sometimes I can feel I'm tired. But then I know that the Spirit of God empowers me because when I'm standing here, I can stand here for hours. This is the, the work of the Spirit of God. So please, I beg of you by the message of God. Don't joke with your eternity. Don't joke with your eternity like that. I'm telling you. Because heaven is real and hell is so real. These things are real stuff. Because sometimes you need to beg you to change. Yeah. I be, because there's certain time that there's certain time Paul said, I beseech you. If somebody is saying by the message you, of means God, I'm begging you, I'm pleading I with you, you because of the time. Mm. There's no time for unnecessary things. So yeah. Paul told them, I beseech you. I beseech you, meaning I plead with you. Mm. I'm begging you. Mm. Accept the will of God. Accept the call of God. Mm. Accept the, the holiness of God because people are dying every day people are dying and you know going to hell and it's real these things we say like that's not a joke a friend of mine who's dead in the u.s my one of my friends went to the states from uk and she said that i went and i went to that's her cousin she said i went to the mortuary i went to the morgue to see her 
She said, I want to touch it. And I said, ah, this can be polar. People are dying. Yeah. People, People are, are dying. Having to... And this person was not sick. Oh. She was not sick. I spoke to her two days prior to her death. She was fine. And, and yesterday she called me and she was telling me that it's shocking. She said she went to stand there. She said, I can't believe you're gone. You know? That's like within two days, so to within two days, not knowing all her organs and everything just shut down. This is someone chatting, laughing, talking about the coming of Christ. And, and sometimes I tell them, you know, let me tell, I tell these people about holiness inside out, you need to take everything off. And they laugh at me. We don't joke with eternity like this. You know, Christians like pleasure. Please. Pleasure. That's why mm, our problem yeah. is pleasure, leisure, and treasure. These three things. Mm -hmm. We love yeah. pleasure, leisure, treasure. We love it more than the love of God. Mm. We love it more than the things of God. Mm. So anything that has to do with pleasure, you, you find Christian there. Anything that has to do with leisure, you find Christian there. And treasure. The treasure on necessary things. things. You see, that's the problem with Christians. So Paul was always telling them, I beseech you, I beseech you, I beg of you. Because he understood that the days were dangerous. The times were mm. dangerous. And, and dangerous. And sometimes I don't know how to show. The Spirit of God himself leads me to bring some of my pictures. These are old pictures, like a year, two years, three years mm. down. And then I, I, so you know that whatever you're doing, me, I've done worse. The picture says, I'm not, I don't bring it for you to look and say she's pretty. Nah. I want you to know that if you if you think, you, you know, this thing makes you good, look good. I've done it and done it proper. Some of my pictures, if I bring it on social media, you're shocked. And God has delivered me from them. So I bring it so you see it. It's just like, why do, why do you think people bring magazines? People bring, and they put magazines with naked pictures and stuff. To draw your attention to know that you see where you are, I've been there. But there was nothing there for me. I'm the happiest person in the whole world today. Mm. Even with my hair covered and everything, you see me like an elderly woman. I'm not bothered because the joy I have. A mm. couple of years ago, I had, you know, I used to dress and I would look cool, like, you know, but deep inside, I was so broken. You know, and, and that is why I bring this thing. So if you're a young person, even elderly, someone, amazingly, you meet, today, you meet a 50-year-old who tells you, I went, I went on a, on a weekend rendezvous with my boyfriend. I look at you, I'm saying, even at the age of 40, 50, 60. Mm. While I was 18 years old, I learned me, you know, very Pleasure. fast and being smart. Pleasure. Mm? At the age of 30, 25, 30, 40, you're still ramping on a man. Every weekend, going to different men for them to sleep with you. Mm. No, no You know, value. this is bonding. Huh? No value. No value. This is bondage, and and I, I that's what I'm saying. I always say, and I don't I don't like talking about people. I talk about me, so you know, I've been there before. What are you doing that I haven't done before? I've been there before. Done it all, seen it all, but there's nothing in it. Now the joy I have. Sometimes I'm in my home and I'm so comfortable. Ah, the joy of God in me is beyond money. Praise the Lord. And, and it's my prayer that you people keep saying, speak to us, speak to us. But no, you need to take the word of God and repent. Yesterday, I had to block a lady. There was a particular lady I had to block her, not because of it. I'm not even angry with her or anything. This particular lady, I think, follows me like a lot. But anytime I will put a picture there, she'll come and write an essay. I don't hate her. My concern is if you want to put on your att attachments, that's your business. So if the Lord requests for us to take the adornment off, that is us saying yes to the Lord. And you follow us at the same time, you don't get the fact that, you know, we cover our hair and everything. Why do you follow? You can leave. I get, yes. It's a mm -hmm. pleasure. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's the thing. Why do you, and, and every day, you know, I was, I've been observing her quite a <laughs> been waiting for me to, uh -huh, comment. Me, I don't comment. I've stopped the word of God is that. not for everybody, though. It's for exactly. So you can watch, and then if it's not for you, don't because we don't even force anybody to change. You, it's the spirit of God that transforms a man. Oh, you don't know. It's the spirit of God that transforms a man from inside out, and we don't even. This is not even self righteous. This is nothing. This is the word of God that a woman must look modest, dress modestly, 
Why I can come here and show everything? You have breasts, I have breasts, you have bones, I have everything, and you have a half. But what? What am I looking for? If I come here and I'm doing marketing, somebody will come and market it. And they'll come because of what I'm showing. And that is not that is not what a woman should look like. You should put a price on yourself. And that is what we demonstrate to the people. It's not because of anything. Not because of self right And this woman writes an essay. I to, to, them, to them, spiritual things are foolishness unto them. Ah, Very foolishness. Unto them. They see it as foolishness. That's but. right. And, and I'm telling you, if women, if about 10 to 15 preachers will rise up in modesty and holiness, our generation will change. Our this generation will change. If men of God will stand in truth, my dear, people, their lives will be transformed. Do you understand? People take these things off, let me tell you, and their heart is not it. That's up to them. But people who are hungry and really serious for heaven, my dear, forget it. It's not everybody who's joking. Though. That's why me, I don't join groups. I can't stop emphasizing on it. I don't join groups not because of anything. Because I must make sure I have a right standing with God. And everybody who speaks the truth is my brother, my sister. That's me. Everybody who speaks and you, the truth. You know the funny thing? When you, there are certain people mm -hmm. when you talk to them about it, they say, oh, I want God to reveal it to me. Yeah. That's not wisdom. Listen. Jesus spoke uh, unto Thomas. He said, because you have seen. Yeah. That's why you believe. The Bible said, blessed right. are those that could not see, that did not see, but they believe. Mm -hmm. But yet believe. And you can tie your hair, but still, if you are in certain things, it's so useless. Let me tell you. It is useless. That's right. You can wear long skirt. Yes. If you are yeah. still in certain things, it's too useless. It's too useless. If you carry witchcraft spirit, it's useless. It's useless. You understand. To be carrying the spirit so, of divinity. And let me tell you something. Most of holiness people, they are carrying the spirit of divination. I'm telling you, self-righteousness has made the spirit of divination possess many people. Self-righteousness has made familiar spirit possess plenty of people. That's right. And this is what is happening in the churches. So everybody comes with whatever he thinks. Everybody. Mm -hmm. So right now, I close my ear on unnecessary. That's right. Uh, I'm and telling you. Because we speak that, let me tell you. And it's amazing. Yeah, like, we don't fight against flesh and blood, you know. What we're doing, souls are being transformed. So by all means, there will be agents and demons. Eh? One, um, as a support ministry is one of the top, I'm telling you, page that demons come here. Agents come here a lot. They and we are aware men. because we speak the truth. They even say we God speak bless nothing you. but the truth. And it's bitter in their ears. It's either you, trans, you, you repent or this same word of God will judge you. And we can't stop saying it. Praise the Lord. Revelation Many 21 lives verse are transformed. 8. Read this. Eh? Revelation 21 verse 8. I want to, I want to open something. Revelation 21 8. Eh? Those that carry the yeah. spirit of divination. Christians, mm -hmm. spirit of divination has filled their heart. And they are prophesying mm -hmm. with the spirit of divination. Your portion. A lot of, a lot of uh, every day. Revelation, revelation. It's all negative. But the fearful and mm -hmm. unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and whoremongers mm -hmm. and, and all liars shall have Sauce. their part Sauce. in the lake. Wait. Mm. Is that it? Yeah, continue. Mm. Uh -huh. may, may, let's say, say uh, which uh, part in they will have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. It's the second death. They all burn in what? In the lake of fire. The fire. He didn't speak about, he said, even the sorceress. If you mm. are dressing well and you were you were a witch, mm. if you tie exactly. your hair, you were a witch, your part you is were in witch, the lake yeah. of fire. We if you tie your hair, you were a liar, your part is in the lake of fire. Mm. If you right. tie your hair, Mm. And you are a murderer. Your part is in the lake of fire. You commit abortion. Any person who commit yeah. abortion, you are you are a potential right. witch. Seriously. Because, because we're in the end time, hmm? Kasa. I was just going to say, because we're in the end time, you see, the enemy has brought a lot of women who have covered themselves. Eh? Mm. And the enemy has brought a lot of men who profess, you know, holiness. You need to discern. 
Or else you will grab something and, you know, I'm telling you, may God have mercy on this generation. We need to really be discerning. Yes. Be spiritual. And let me tell you, and these things, are, these things are happening in the churches. Serious. And there are many men, let me tell you, I don't know, since I something feel like I was continuing to continue. There are many men of God there, many, that are swimming with the spirit of divination, but they think it's true. Yes. And it's, it's biblical, and I can prove it to you. Very, very biblical. People. It's not the fact that you preach holiness. Ah. It's not the fact that I'm in a holiness church. Yes. What matters is, am I living in truth? That's right. What spirit influences me? Hmm. Am I truly dwelling with the spirit of God or any other spirit of divination? That's right. Some of you, you are living in a lie. Your life is a lie. Everything is a lie. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about, I, I, I was reading some, somebody said, hey, Pastor, this painting of his, yes. Because it's a lie. You are deceiving mm -hmm. people. Some of you, the day you wash your face, that the day that your husband will be angry with you. Because he's seen another mm -hmm. face that he's not used to. He has been used to a certain painted face with certain has been honest. With, with certain she lipstick. Said, she, said, mm, she said we know the truth. It's just difficult to, to do it. God help us, woman of God. It's true, but don't wait till you die before. Yeah. Don't wait till everything, you know. Don't wait. Don't wait. And don't tell me because of my friends, what my friends will say. As I'm here now, look at my head. Who are my friends? I don't even have time to, to do friends. My eternity is more important to me. Some of you, you bleach, mm. uh, you bleach, uh, your skin yeah. color changed. The other time I saw one old lady, you realize that when she was, she was a young person, she used to bleach a lot. Now her face has become black, green, blue, red. You realize that everything is distorted. Mm. It's in a Look at what is happening in our days. Let me tell you, everything you do now, one day you see the effect of it. It's Every true. Woman, you you like to you like to uh, what do you call it? Bleed your your older age when your body becomes a little bit old. You see the effect. It's true. There are some women they cannot go out just like that. They need to polish their face mm. because the color of their face have changed. It's messed up. You keep on changing your skin color. Mm. Your day will come. Mm. Maybe, maybe God it. might save you. Maybe God might save you. But there's a day that you cannot go out there because people will laugh at you. Because people will mock at you. Do you know the reason why? The color of your face has changed. Hey, I saw one picture be like that on face with my heart. If you see a lady at a at an age around 50 years, her face, the color of her face, it is a certain part that is a bit black. There's a certain part that is a bit reddish. There's a certain part that is, you don't know if it is blue, black, or green. And sometimes you see their, what do you call it? Their veins. The veins will come out. You see the green. I say, hey, Christians. Because of the errors of your past. So you keep changing your color. Keep changing. You continue to change that color. You know something? Maybe in your in your elder uh, in your uh, elderly age, maybe God will save you, but you will face the consequences. People will mock at you. You cannot even come out to people because your face will be distorted. Some of you. Uh, you see, Christians, when you talk to Christians, let's be careful, let's be careful. They say, oh, you are, you are behaving. They say, what is the meaning of that? So you are being condemning. It's not condemning. It's called correcting. This is the truth people have been looking for. This truth is very hard. Truth is very hard to find. Oh, my goodness. Mm, it's hard to find. Some of the men of God are even scared to tell you because you insult them. You see the bullets we get from you guys. The wife we, said we, it. we have bulletproof. The we have bulletproof. So you say, you, you insult me, shut up. I just do this. I put on my bullet. We, we see all that, but the, the important thing is 
souls are getting changed. And what is more than you insulting me wherever you are and me looking at, does it, does it change my color? Does it change who I am? No. Look at my souls color. Look at my black. Mm. Is it not nice? Why should I look uh, like Sister Esther? Exactly. Me, the way I cherish my color, I'm telling you, yeah, because, because of that. That is how God has made you. Because and the of that, I don't, you I don't even you use are, you're fine. I'm afraid. I look at my face. It. Yeah, people think, let me tell you. And, and somebody said, I, I'm, not, I'm not afraid to tell you my age. I'm 40. And most women don't believe it. You know, most, at my workplace, nobody believes my age. Sister Tina says, no, I'm 40. Yeah, I'm 40. Most somebody will be 40. I've, had, I've got one child as well. Eh? But you see, all these things destroy. It distorts what, who we are. Mm. They don't believe it because of this. Most of you that, that, and all this masquerade on our heads, all these things on our face, eyelashes, you extend it, eyebrow, you take everything off, you know, and then you add some, you know, your lip is beautiful nowadays. I'm telling you, uh, uh -huh. somebody said your contour is nice, man of God, you know, be, be you uh. what has made you. <laughs> See, uh, Kolu, Kolu, is this is brother Kolu says, I don't believe that, sisters. I'm telling you, I'm 40 years old. So walking in the righteousness of God is beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing you can ever, money can ever buy. That is what we're telling you. So and now men are bleaching, women are bleaching. That's why black is beautiful, Sister Mabel. Look at Sister Mabel. I took a few pictures. I'm going to put it together. Sister Mabel, you know, it, it, the moment you stop these Karashika things, it, it makes you, this is me. But I can't be there so is so I people my there, So you see it. Some people eh? Some people, they are I'm 40, 40 years old. This year, I'm going to be 41 on the 4th of July. I'm telling you. And I'm not ashamed to tell you. Because, what, what am I ashamed of? Tell me. I can't wait to be 50. I want to see how it will look like when I'm 50. Do you understand? Some people are 20. There's no more time. There's no more time. There's no more time. What is all? Let me tell you something. Be what God has made you. This is you. Don't don't be putting a lot of things. That day you go and you go on your honeymoon. Your husband sees you and wants to run away. Oh, because you wash your face. Ah, you you take you take some of you young ladies. Listen to me. You take off your wig and you know you, your hairline is all gone. Look, also The way you can smell. I'm not complaining because of my hair is messy, eh? But my hairline is intact. This, I've just brought it. My hairline is intact. Be yourself. Why should I be ashamed? What in Guazamio? Be yourself. That's what we're teaching you. To be what God has made you. Be what God has made you. Do you understand? Be what God has made you. What God has made you to be. Be yourself. And don't cover it. Don't be shy. Black people, they're healing us so much. Slave trading is still on. They've made us feel as if we're not beautiful. It's hey, slavery is in the head, though. It's in the mind. That's true. It's in the mind. That is what you young people were trying to take it off for you to know that it's in the mind. You are beautiful. You don't need to add anything. When you read when you read Genesis, Jesus said, God said after creating everything that it was good. Why are you making up into what God has not made you? Why are you enhancing what God has, has already completed it? A man, a man to this this, wife before. Yeah, and, yeah and because of this, it takes you a long time. It takes you a long time, you know? It takes you a long time. I know some of the pastors are telling you, put on your makeup, do this. Let me tell you, the day you die, you'll be on your own. Mm -hmm. Every man or woman of God is going to give an account. Do you understand? Everybody is going to give an account of what we did with our lives. That is why we come here and tell you. Your stomach, you can't breathe. It's not easy, you Can you imagine somebody, somebody sue his wife because of defraudment? Exactly. Which kind of defraudment was that? Because he said, he, that's not the wife he married. He woke up early yeah. in the morning after they've taken their bath in a honeymoon or whatever they call themselves. After they've taken their bath, this that's person right. saw the wife the next morning. He said, no, who are you? The first question is, who are you? He said, ah, this is Ajoa. This is me. He said, no, no, no. This is not the person that I know. This is not the person the I met. 
there are portals, you know, they put some portals, pimple on the face, so they polish the pimple yeah. out of the face. And I tell the girls, you just treat your face, treat your face and let all the, oh. all the, the yeah, and so let all your pimples and everything disappear because you are beautiful. You are simply years amazing. Years. They are looking you like are 58. Ah, be yourself, be beautiful. Hey, the man God has ordained for you. If he sees you, he will know. You don't need to put on, make yourself into something you are not. Yes. That was the day I'm a joy. One day, one day, I'll say something, and some of them do telling me, they will say, hey, this honeymoon that you people go for, why, why do you go for honeymoon? Me, I ask a question. Me, I like to talk about this thing. Christians, let's be wise. So listen. If I'm wrong, correct me. Why do you people go for honeymoon? I'm asking a question. Honeymoon, honeymoon, honeymoon. Is it biblical? Mm, is it to honeymoon? Today, I want to talk about it. Imagine you marry a woman. You married a woman. Me, this and I'll say it and I'll say it again. You people should go and pray about it. Imagine you marry a woman. Oh. Your first time to sleep with your woman is on a, on a hotel bed of fornication. On a hotel bed. On a hotel bed. Can you imagine? Sometimes I ask myself, where do we learn all these things from? You see a man marrying a woman, they want to travel to a certain hotel. Whilst you have your own house, you have your own room. Go go on a certain hotel bed and go and fornicate, hey, go and sleep with your wife. The first time you want to sleep with your wife on an hotel bed. A place that gay people have slept. A place that a, a lesbian people have slept. A place that people have fornicated so much. Dirtiness have been, have been there. Occultic people have been there. Many things have been practiced over there. And you take your wife and you go and put her over there and you sleep with your wife. The beginning of your marriage, you polluted it. The beginning of your marriage, you polluted it. Some of you, certain things you don't understand. When we tell you, you say, mm, this pastor to you, you are exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. I'm telling you that there are many things that we bring into our marriages. It is because of our, our errors. Oh. Even if they change their best seat, the mattress is your own. Oh. The mattress is your own. Mm, God have mercy. Homosexuals sleep on that bed. Oh. Lesbians are on that bed. Prostitute. Prostitute. On that bed. Evil people come there. People that are doing rituals, they do it in that room. And you carry your wife in the name of honeymoon. Even and dead you go and people, take your wife yeah. to a hotel. The first time you want to know your wife, and you sleep with your wife on a fornication bed. The Bible said the marital bed undefiled, but you undefiled. are sleeping. With them. Oh, people, let's learn. Oh, let's learn. Let's learn. Don't you have a room? Don't you have a bed? Some of you cry. The guys over here. You people, you fornicated on that mattress. If you marry, you need to change that mattress. You fornicated, masturbated on a certain mattress. You marry, you want to bring your wife on that same mattress. Some mm. of these mattresses, you need to change them and throw it away. And oh, on a gosh. fornication bed, dirty mm. bed, you people bring your wife. Yes. You go and yes. put your wife. Yes. They said, oh, okay, when we go to the hotel, we pray. Pray. You want ah. to tempt God. You think Jesus couldn't have accepted, could have accepted to turn the, 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 the uh, 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 jump from the top of the, the mountain to down and say he believes that God will catch him. He said, that shall not tempt the Lord thy God. You go and sleep on, on a hotel bed. When my sin is over there, you carry your wife, hey, your first fruit on a hotel bed and you sleep with her. Do you know the things that you invited into your marriage? First thing that you oh, did into oh. your marriage, deathiness. Mm. That is why your marriage is never working. Many things that the devil is doing, eh, many people don't know. It's too far. This is powerful. Many people don't know what pollutes marriage, what destroys marriage. Many people don't know. 
But you see, Christians, we copy blindly. Because everybody is doing it. You have a house. You have a room. But because there's something called honeymoon. When you finish, man, you don't send your wife to the house. You go and rent a certain hotel, outskirts the town. Yeah. Because you want, what do you want? What do we want in this world at all? Hey, me, I'm not married and take my wife to hotel. For where? Who push wait? I will take care of, I will get a house. Nice place. The, nicely. Oh, that day. Nobody should even call me. If you call me, I'll, I'll, I'll rebuke you. You send your wife to a hotel. You see, sometimes a Christian says, we should learn, we should learn, we should learn, and we should mm. be blindly. We should learn more as well. Yeah. To our life if we know ignorance. Mm. ignorance. Ignorance. Ignorance and carelessness. Mm. Because of what pleasure, leisure, and treasure. Christians are time for you. Mm. We are inviting all to our spirit go, into our marriage. Some of them, they go and change in a hotel. Their wedding dress, everything, they change in the hotel to go to the church. Hi, Martin. Hotel. They want to look a certain way. Everybody knows, hey, me too. I did my wedding uh, honeymoon. My wedding, wedding was the one on point. Kempinski. You did your own at Kempinski. You don't want to mention moving pick. High, high hotel. So that the camera will be on them. And after that, what? You people, the two of you go and suffer. Within one month, mm -hmm. you people are breaking up. Within two months, eh? divorce. Within three months, one year would it become? Many, many divorce cases at the judiciary. And you are there. Mm -hmm. You are pleasing man. People, Christians, we, are not, we only want to please people. Is it by force that you need to go and take a certain hotel and do your wedding? Seriously. Even the foundation of the wedding itself, you destroyed it already. So how come the marriage will work? Mm -hmm. And the, when we talk, they say, oh, you are exaggerating. Me, they should say I'm exaggerating. The truth will be the truth. There was a lady that I know in Ghana. I told the lady, I said, why do you want to go and do your wedding this way? He said, oh, why won't you? He said, pastor, explain to me. He said, hey. When I finished talking to her about that, he said, I oh, know. Mm, this one, then my heart has even accepted it. But still, the lady, the lady did it. Because of what? The kind of friends that Friends. That is what my friends will say. Everybody must know that my wedding was the top. You know, everybody, everybody must, must know, know that, that I've arrived. I, have, I had a certain wedding. So after that ceremony, what happened? After that ceremony, some of you women, before you marry your husband, tell them your room, that mattress over there, please go and change it. Hey, ladies, listen to me. Before you marry that man, he sends you to the house. Tell him to change his mattress. Some of them, they masturbated on it. Ah, the, the mattress, they smell with spam. They slept with Adwa. They slept with Equia. They slept with Joyce. They slept with Gloria, Emilia. Everybody, they slept with on that bed. Tell them that they should go and change the mattress before you go and enter that room. They should even paint the place. So that people yeah. come and do deliverance in that room. Pastors have to come and do deliverance in that room. Let me tell you, and thank you, rented wedding gowns is not godly. People wear rent wedding gown. Somebody came here. Recently, there was a wedding. Somebody came, so they were asking me, uh, they, said, they, said, they want to wear rent wedding gowns. Let me, let me tell you. Who said you need to wear a certain wedding gown before you do a wedding? Mm -hmm. Why do we worry ourselves like that, Christians? Ah, we worry ourselves, oh! Uh, Everybody wants to wear a yeah. wedding gown with a certain train. Yeah. They call it train or whatever they call it. And they want to look a certain way. I don't know what oh. is there in, in Christendom. I don't know what people want to copy. For competition. So much competition in the house of God. And when you turn up the say, oh, you there, you are exaggerating, no? You there, you are, you, are, you are misbehaving. Why? Did you, are you the one that killed Jesus? Somebody even tell you, are you the one that killed Jesus? Hey, let me tell you people, let's wake up. Christianity is, is a modest life.
More Christianity is a life of gentleness, not a life of competition. You know, let me, let's be careful. You carry your wife, the first fruit. You never knew your wife before. Your first fruit. The reason, you women, your husbands don't respect you. That's the reason why they took you to that hotel. If they were spiritual enough, your husband would never take you to a hotel bed. Some of them, it's just sheer ignorance. Some of them is sheer ignorance. They don't know. You know, you send you to hotel bed sure, and you go and sleep with your first night. The first night, you, he, he took your virginity was on a, on a defiled mm -hmm. bed. Defiled. Homosexuals, their they they are, they are dirtiness are on that bed. The other time I was watching a certain, uh, what do you call it? Certain uh, video program. And people went to the hotels to see if truly the, the, the best, if they really change it. I don't know if you watched it before. And they used a certain machine. The person slept there, came back, came back, he left certain things on it, came back the following week. They, he wanted the same room and he went and the same thing that were on the bed were, was on it. Was on it. They used a certain they machine. Detected the, the... They detected the same, the same dirtiness. And you carry your wife, the sperm of somebody dirty on that bed. You carry your wife, boy. And you sleep with your wife on the dirty bed, defiled bed. No wonder your marriage is not working. Or courting pastors are there. They are invoking all things. Even fetish spirits come and sleep there. Unbelievers are there. Gay people are sleeping. Lesbians are there. Bisexuals are there. And you carry your wife. Poba, poba. And you finish and you come and everybody is clapping. Hey, hey, brother, you went to Kempiski. And then they're trying you went to go. Uh, uh, baby, baby what, you see, everybody's happy for you. And after that, what country happened? Ghana, they say, don't know, don't know. Don't know. Don't know. And after that, what happened? Don't know. And after two months, your, your marriage is in a mess. Your marriage is in what? It's in a mess. It's not that you are crying. Jesus help me. Jesus help me. You didn't see Jesus help me yet. It didn't even start. You understand? I'm not saying it is wrong to sleep in a hotel. What I'm saying, we practice so many talking things. About, we set our talking marriage setting things in the hotel. Thank you, Paul. That's I even sleep in your wife. Your first to you want to. Somebody, can you hear me? If you can hear me, tell me you can hear me.
network is bad. The network is just bad. Mm. Are you there? Uh -huh. The network is so bad. Mm. Just write, you can hear me. Just write, I can hear you. That's it. Is it okay now? Yeah. This network. African network is is a problem. It's like the the, the character. Can of you the hear me? Yes, I can you hear me? I can hear you. Eh? Mm -hmm. I think it's better now. I can hear you. Uh huh. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. We bless God. So I think everybody should 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 we should, we should learn. We should learn, and we shouldn't so much compromise on so many things. The problem with Christians, eh? We, we always want to please men. We always want to please people. And that is what is disturbing us. If only Christians can be humble. Okay. Tu viens à le soir, non? Okay. If only Christians can be humble, or we will go far. Some people will spend millions on millions and millions on weddings and on necessary things. And after wedding, they will just be hungry like like a, a sheep without grass. There's no food. A sister, a, a sister said we should read Jeremiah chapter 4, verse uh, 30. Okay. And now open the page. And you, O desolate one, mm -hmm. what will you do though you clothe yourself in scarlet, though you mm -hmm. adorn yourself yeah, with ornaments of gold, Beauty though you enlarge your eyes with pain, you make yourself beautiful in vain. In vain. Mm, your lovers, your allies despise, despise you. Despise you. They speak your lies. For I heard a cry like a woman in labor. The anguish as of one giving birth to her first child. The cry of the daughter of Zion. Mm. Mm. The cry of the daughter of Zion. Mm. Who gasps for breath? Who stretches out her hands saying, Woe is me. My judgment comes. I faint in fear before the medra, before the medras. This is the word of God, very powerful. All right. Can you see me? I can see you. People say they can't see me. Maybe the network. Maybe. Uh, is their phone? Network, we... Is their phone? Is their phone? <laughs> anyway. 
We bless God for another day. God, God has been faithful. There are many things that please people need to learn from. Uh, women be 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 hard. Women, you people, you behave too cheap. Ah, be hard, small. Tell the guy, I don't want this. I don't. Let them know I don't want it. Oh, they said they can't see me. I think the man network is gone again. You know, the man that you're going to marry, they said they can't see me. There's nothing, I don't think it's their phone. No, no, no. It's, it's mine. It's yours. It's a network. Mm. Okay. Hold on, let me check it again. Oh, they can hear you, they can't see you. They can hear you. Can you can you see me then? Can you see me? Can you see me? All right, all right, all right. Five me, I have testimony to give. Favor Samuel. What testimony is that? Can you write it there? Write your testimony. Mm, praise the Lord. Very important. Be yourself and one of the good things about walking in the holiness of God is you, you, it, it makes you, you learn what modesty is and you live a life not pleasing anyone. I don't have to please you. I don't have to look a certain way because you don't have to. I obey the word of God. I am in this world, but I'm not of the world. If we knew this long time ago, we would have been, you know, would have used our money wisely to, to help the kingdom of God progress. Hallelujah. Amen. So now the Bible says the fear of God is the beginning. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Amen. That means if we have the fear of God, amen, we have, we gain wisdom in Christ Jesus. And that is all we're saying that even on this earth, walk in the righteous. I can't get hold of pastor, pastor, walk in the righteousness of God. Amen. Everything, pray about it and take it to God in prayer. Be spiritually, you know, awake. Amen. Be spiritually awake and alert. You know, when you, when you, when you, when you, even when you're going to the presence of God and you're modestly dressed, you're focused. One, you don't look at anybody. Nobody looks at you because you are look like before. When we were in the world, we used to be like that. Now we're in Christ. You know, Those who are waiting to be buried, those who are already buried, they are not better than us. This is the Do a judgment. I'm telling you, people have already done this, and we were about. Amen. The Lord bless you. I don't know why I can't get hold of Pastor. So I will leave you with this. I will leave you with this. That be prayerful. If you're a woman here, be prayerful, and don't let your adornment be. You know, focus on your inside. Work on yourself. Get rid of anger, pride, arrogance, you know, things that will not glorify God. Anything in you that has not glorified God, rid of them. So that when you stand before God and the blood of Jesus, you are clean, washed, purified, sanctified. Very, very crucial. Pastor, I can't see you. Aha, uh -huh, okay, now I can. Praise the Lord. Whatever, you know, you're believing God for, it's a prayer.
my classmates, we we went to the same university, Kingston University. We did the same nursing. So uh, bowel screening specialist. So it stopped acting up. I think the network is so bad. It is bad. It's very bad. It's a signal that we have to, we have to round it up and finish. Yeah. So what we do is continue tomorrow. This is the market, don't worry. I think I'll stay home today. God bless you, people of God. God bless you. God bless you. We'll see you again by the grace of God tomorrow morning. Um, if the Lord tarries, and if the Lord wills, have a lovely evening, lovely night, lovely morning, lovely afternoon. Prioritize Christ all the time. God bless you. You want to say something? It's okay. So people of God, everybody should, everybody should look for, I think the network has been restored. That's, be, that's better. Or oh, it's better now, right? It's better. I it's can better, hear you. It's better now, yeah. I think it's yours, eh? <laughs> it was yours that was acted up. <laughs> so, God bless you, everybody. Uh, you guys have heard the word of God. For me, I believe it's life. And if only everybody could um, be modest and be simple and live for God and not man. If we only you live to life. please God, we'll go far. Yeah, we'll and you'll love life. Far. You know, Sister Mabel, God bless you. Mabel Collins, I met the lady in Ghana. Mm, you did? Heaven Seekers. Heaven Seekers, okay. She's a lovely person. God yes, bless indeed. you all. I'm okay. Yeah, God, God remember you. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Have a lovely time, guys. Hey, Love wait, you. oh, wait. Please, people. The donation keeps going on. Uh, people of God, let's let's remember. You know, it's not it's not by force anyway. We are not forcing anybody. That that time I was just I was just joking. One woman just used that to just insult me. I was like, wow. Okay. Uh, you know, I was surprised. But people of God, you know, let's let's learn to support um, Sister Esther and uh, the crusade that she's gonna do. Some of you, we've been this so much. I know some of you, men of God, that deceive you around and you are tired of even supporting God's work. But this is not of, um, it's not just any God's work, but we want to do it to, to win other souls, you know, to win more souls in Kumasi, Ghana. There's a crusade that is going to happen over there, it's going to go on over there in November. November. So we, we, we want all of you to also support this crusade. You can download, if you want to do it, you can contact Sister Esther. You can message her in, you can go to her uh, mail. Just message her on, on, on Facebook. And she maybe she'll show you how to, you know, um, how to support the, the crusade. These things are not going to do our pocket. No. It is going to support a good cause. It is to get a place. It is to um, get an instrument, get the stage, get chairs, transport people. You understand? So please, let's make an effort. Some of you, you need to take it on yourself. That, okay, I want to do this. Every single month, I want to give this to the program. You need to sow into it. I know I see you to come and buy all your handkerchief, pepper, tomato, or whatever, whatever it is. But we are asking that you support a good cause. Imagine you are part of this cause that men were saved. Your reward is great. Hallelujah. So please, let's support. Get in touch with her. Uh, mail her. She will answer your mail. Send me Get an into inbox. Her inbox. Mm -hmm. Get into her inbox and um, just message her. I think Mr. John and on other, maybe Mamiya Siddha. Mamiya said that so, so you can get in touch with Mr. John Mamiya said that sister Esther herself. You can also inbox me so that we can show you how you can also support the program. 
It is not by force, yes. But please support me. Nah, nah. Be a blessing. Be a blessing so that, you know, God can also be a blessing unto you. Uh, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you and not preserve you. I pray that may your, may your name be continually restored. God bless you. Somebody just sent me a message that my name will not be in the RIP list. Yeah, God bless that person. God bless that person so much. God bless you. I appreciate. Okay. You can go on, sir. Go on. Oh, I'm Good afternoon. Oh, my God. Your blood is <laughs> up. Uh -huh. It's true, Sister Mabel. I tell you. But it is well.